Looking great over there. But I really don't want to go outside, you guys. Like, I don't want to go out there and talk to them. Like, they're just telling me the same thing over and over again. Because they're tired. I know they're tired. And I feel really bad because they're cold. Like, no, I'm not in hell. This is purgatory. This is not hell. This is purgatory. <laughs> this is a never-ending, like, every day is the same thing. Every day, I, I don't have my children. Like, it's the same thing. That's purgatory. Like, no. <laughs> I'm not going to prison. I'm going to heaven. There's a difference. <laughs> I'm not a I'm not an animal. Like you're not gonna cage me in for something I didn't do. That's one thing. That's one thing. Like no one's gonna cage me in for something I didn't do. Like I would rather be with God than to be caged in. Like mm mm. That no, no no no. You know what that does to you? That drives you to, to hurt yourself. That's what the evil wants. Do you guys not understand that? Like, the evil wants me to give in because there's only one way out of this. Like, I really don't want to go outside. No, these people don't support me, and that's fine. That's fine. The only one that supports me is up above, and that's all I need. And that's what's getting me through today. Like, look what time it is. If they really... They're at the door. I can tell they're at the door. Go get them, Zuzu. Look, look, look. Oh! that. They're at the door already. Fuck. See what they need. But Cain stays with me. No, he stays with me. No, no, but the need to check them out. He can. They can come up. Just one. No, we can't. They, we need to come down. Just one can come up and check us both. Check us both. Just one. I will. No, no. The only way I come halfway down the stairs is with with my firearm on my side too. That's the only way I'm coming downstairs is if my firearm is with me. I don't trust you guys. I don't trust you. Like, so if they, you guys do, if you guys do want to come up and check him, then c one of you guys, one of the paramedics can come up. I, I will let him in, but that's it. And, but, but, but only if he stays, I need to have a paper that says he stays with me. Like Consu the, the baby stays with Consuelo until she gets her fair trial. I wish all three of them can stay with me, but No, no, but he stays with me. He stays with me until Monday then. He stays with me. He stays. He's not leaving. If they want to put an, an ankle bracelet on me until then, I will. Like, I don't, I, I won't go anywhere. Like, I, he'll stay here with me. Like, no, now is the time to discuss it. How long have we been here, Ken? Remember I told you, you were, you're wasting your time trying to find an end to it when you should be seeing how it started. Once you guys, once you guys dig deep to how this started, that's how it'll end. If you guys are just trying to end it, it's not going to end. It's going to keep going. You guys should have... Yes. And why are they refusing to work with me? Like, why? What did I do? Because they don't want to admit, the system doesn't want to admit that they were wrong? It is that though, Ken. Because all they have to do is like, okay, give Consuelo her baby and let's trial her. 
Let's put her on trial. Give her her children. Give. Let her keep her children. Give her a court date. Give her a trial. If she's proven guilty, take her children. Okay. That's all I want, Ken. Like I. The issue with court or the issue with our law? The issue with our system? Well, the court system. Right. The problem is a lot of people have courts set up. So they can't. So people and I'm not asking them to do anything. And you know, other people's problems are priority. This, this is. You're asking them to. No, I'm not asking anyone. I'm not asking anyone to sacrifice anything. Like. So they are able to squeeze you in the prosecutor. No, he, but he stays with me. Like I, he stays with me until I'm proven guilty. They can squeeze me in all they want on Monday. That doesn't necessarily that doesn't give me the answer I need. <laughs> why doesn't they? Why doesn't the district attorney want to talk to me? Obviously, they know what's going on. So why don't they? Why don't they? Do you guys know why? No, why I've been asking that for them to to call out the district attorney. I've been asking them to call up their higher ups, and they don't like. I, I've asked them, like, if everyone, you guys are saying that everyone's watching, you know, I'm on the news, then that means that the judge is watching, and that means that the district attorney is watching. Why don't they come out here? Like, it doesn't make any sense. No, he's sleeping. You really want me to wake him up and bring him down to the cold? He's sleeping. He's you're, you're really going to use the fair word like Hello. Yes, me was my mom. What happened? Where's the where's how's my mom? I don't know your mom, girl. Oh, what? I thought you were my sister. What you doing answering my call? <laughs> Girl, no. You need to do the right thing for your baby. I know you're trying to protect him and everything, but he's sick right now. Yes, my love, but he's been sick for five days. I just got him. Like, why didn't they take him to the doctor when he first got to see I know. Him? Like, they're, they're pinning that on me. Like, he's sick, he's sick. But he was sick before I brought him home. Like... They should have gotten his medical attention two, two, three days ago when his cough was really bad, when his nose was running. That's when they should have got him to the doctor. He's probably by the time he wakes up tomorrow, he's probably going to be, he's going to be better by tomorrow. Like, and you as a mom, knowing that your baby is sick, you would do what's best for him. I am doing what's and best. And I for know, him. I know DCFS. Hold on, hold on, baby. I might mom. Hold on, hold on. God bless you, though. Hold on. But the goal, though, what's the goal? The goal is to keep my son here and to get a fair trial. But you said you already guaranteed me court. You didn't guarantee me a fair trial. You guaranteed me that we were going to have court, yes. But you didn't guarantee me that my son's going to stay with me for the, until then. Until then. I need a fair trial. And the paramedic's willing to stay on this side of the fence with your, to check your son out. He can come in. He can come in. I'm not taking him down. Like he, how how can you? Can I can I can I do it for you? Like can I can you take me step by step and I'll do it. Whatever it is that you need me to check on him, I'll do it for you. Like it's a complicated day. It's a complicated day, but I would do it. I'll do it for him. Like, you see, and then, and I'm, and I'm, it's because you're not going to work well under pressure. Like, you won't, because I won't, I'm not just going to sit there. Like, I don't trust anyone that's just coming up here. So whoever's going to work on my son is going to work it under pressure, by the way. And I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Like, I don't. I'm not going to risk 
anything. I'm not going to risk anything. So first, like I'm telling you, the first person that comes in here will be under pressure. Like, no, like, no, like he can check my son all he wants, but those are like any little, any little reach that he's going to grab him. I'm no, no. No, I meant like grabbing him and running out with him. And do we have to do this when he's sleeping? We we have to do this when he's sleeping? Like he just went to sleep. Like what time is it? No, you reminded me of when the judge threw the book at me. When she threw the book at me and she was just like, you can't learn this. Like, You don't have the ability to learn any of this. When she told me that to my face, that's exactly what you like. How do you know? I, look where I'm at right now. How do you know I can't do that? Like how? how... I'm just basing it off the complications of their equipment because I see them and I don't understand it. And I've been around them a lot. But that's, that's exactly what she told me. When I asked her, let me defend myself. Let me defend my family. She just threw the book at my face. Like from where she was standing. Just choop. Like she was like, you can't learn any of this. Like you don't have, you aren't, she basically said I wasn't smart enough to learn any of this. Okay, but think about your son. You want the best care? And he's just going to build the equipment. You're going to put it on. Look, here's what you're going to do. Here's our monitor. Here's the reach. Blood pressure, O2, heart monitor. I can, I won't even go on that side of the fence. I can hand this up to you. I can read the monitor. I can push the button. And you can put it on your own. That sounds good. Can't they leave the equipment at the door and I'll just grab it when they come down? Like, leave the equipment at the door and I'll and I'll. I'm not bringing him down. It's really cold. I'm not bringing him down. Like, we'll put him in a blanket and bring him down and he'll take five minutes. That's all it takes for you guys to just swoop in and take them. Five minutes is all it takes. Like, just, uh, I don't trust you, Ken. Like, on this side of the fence, how's that going to happen? He'll stay on this side of the wrought iron fence. Okay. See the, this car right here? He'll stay on if I flip the camera, you guys can't see. Like, hey, hey, you need to stop with the threats, mamas. The, at will. this point, at this point, you're you're fucking jeopardizing your own life right now, and I'm not about to see you go down like that. You're smarter than this, Consuelo. You're smarter than this. No, no, Let them check the baby. The I the know you don't. I the know, baby, is, but I, I know you don't want them taking the baby, but you need to think about your baby's health right now. You don't know what temperature his fucking fever Anthony, is. Anthony, wait, wait, look, look. If it goes the way God's plan, my children are not going to stay by themselves. Yes, they won't have their mother, but they will have a memory of her. And and not just that, but you guys, the, are you guys no, really going to be... it shouldn't just have to be I a memory. I swear, like, you guys are going to help my children out. Like, you guys are going to help my children out and... And you know we will, and, and us, us that love you deeply, and us that love you deeply will look out after your kids, but it does not have to get to that point, mama. You have the choice right now. Mm -hmm. I know you have God by your side. Let God have your side in the courtroom. Right now, you need to do the smart decision, babe. I know you don't want to hear no, this, but mama, like, God this is did for your baby's health. He did have, 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 he did have my back in the courtroom. And he has my back now. Like, 
Kane is fine. Okay. I think Kane is fine. Okay. He has okay. Medical, okay. Kane is fever, fine, but he needs medical attention, mama. Yeah, if his fever sparks that. up again, if his fever sparks up again, then yes, but he's fine. Like he, because you guys aren't. You guys are just gonna. You Hold need. On, you need to stop with the gun. I don't want nothing happening to you. You need to stop with the threats. That's not gonna get you anywhere. Just know that, babe. We're here to we support you and we love you. A lot of our good friends are here fighting for you in this fucking chat. We care about you, Consuelo, but we do not want to see you get fucking killed and your kids growing up without their mother. They need you. No matter if they take your kids away, you will still be in their lives. The court is gonna allow you for no, visits well, or whatever that's the fucking what you don't might be. I will not live. I will not live another day without them, Anthony. Like, that's not that's not what the plan was. Like, that's not. That's not the plan. Like, it's either today, all or nothing. Like, I, I'm Man, not afraid. Does not have to go like, there, hey, I'm not afraid to go. Like, I'm not afraid because where am I going? Like, I know I, where I'm going. Like, that's okay, where yeah, I'm we going are, to go. You like, know where you're going, though. How? Well, like, what about your kids? How? When they grow up, how? Well, how? How are they just supposed to take this like kindly? You know, they're not. They're gonna your kids are gonna be confused at why. They will come the, and I, I hope they do. I hope they, they do. But you shouldn't have to put them in that in the first place. They No, the system didn't have to put them in the first place. The system. I, I get you, yes. But we know the system's fucking corrupt and nasty as fucking as it is. Look what the fucking happened to Gabriel. You're, you're the opposite of that situation, though. You're showing that you fucking care and love your child and that you just want to be with him. You're not fucking hurting him. You're, you, you know, all these huh? people talking shit, let them talk shit. Fuck that. You're not hurting your child. You want to be with your child. You're showing that your child, you care for your child. But Don't at the you same work time, on keeping pain here. No, that's what I'm saying. But why don't you just work on leaving Kane here? Like, what's the what's the? But what's because he's what? Let the paramedics see him, baby. Let the paramedics see him. Keep that gun away. Don't pull that fucking gun out. They're, Let the paramedic no, do his job. If they come in, that gun is going to come out, Anthony. Like, no. The, why, why are you going to pull out a gun on a paramedic? He's a fucking paramedic. They're, he's not a cop. He can't do shit like that. Know, how do you know? You don't know their intentions. You don't know what they're... Okay. Then you stand by the one door. Paramedic, if you fine. Build, one One paramedic. You stand by, you let him in and you stand by the door, but don't fucking pull your gun out on him. He has, you, you have no right to pull out a gun on a paramedic. Let the paramedic do his job. They care for your kid too. They just want to check if the kid's fine. Just let them do, let, let the paramedic do the job, baby. Just let him do his job. Just let him check it. Don't pull your gun out on him. You can stand by the door. No, I know you care. I'm not saying you don't. I know you guys care. I know. And I do want one of them to come up. Like, I do I do want them to check. Like, I asked them, like... Compromise that benefits you guys or a compromise that benefits my children? The compromise that benefits you guys or that benefits my children? Right, look, the quicker you can let the paramedic go up there and check the baby, the quicker he'll go back downstairs. Yeah, he's coming. That's what they he's said. They're going to come up. They're gonna okay. come up. Just give the paramedic five minutes, let him check the baby. Let him make sure that the fever is not as bad as it is. Just, just let let him at least do that. We all care about the baby at this point. You know, we care. You, you've made up your mind of what you want to do, but we all care about your son too. We all want to see your son come out good from this. You know, like you, you have, like don't do this to him. You know, let him get checked. Let him at least, you know, give him the medication if he needs fucking tire, baby silent or whatever the fuck it is that they're gonna give him. Let him do that at least for the baby. Can I go back inside with Kane?
Yes. Yes. It seems right. Thank you. Look, they just stopped someone over there. Look, do you guys see? Mm -hmm. You guys someone's see? Someone's out yes. there. Look, look, look. Who is that? Babe, let, let the paramedic go in there and check the baby. I know, I know. I will. They're, they're... I will. I'm waiting. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna go inside with Kane though. Just tell them you're waiting for the paramedic to come up. You're gonna go inside. I think that's Jake. I think that's Jake. You think that's Jake? Yeah, that is Jake. It looks like Jake. They need to let Jake through. That's the fucking father of the child. They need to let him through. I know they're not gonna want to, but. <sighs> yeah, that is Jake. That was Jake. Come on. Be smart about this. Don't pull no gun out on the paramedic. You do that, then it's fucking over. Don't do that. I can't hear you. Did you mute yourself? I think you muted yourself. I can't hear you. Can you hear me? You muted yourself. I can't hear you. You're not muted? There, can you hear me? There you go. There, no, there it, you go. it keeps like... It, it comes in and out, I think. If you gay starts proving, get the fuck out of here, bro. Fuck, give me that sloppy talk. Anyways, um, <laughs> well, these are the guys over here talking about I'm simping over here. I'm simping over here because you're my fucking friend and I love you and I care about you. Yeah. The fuck I gotta go, like, Anthony, people are really, really mean. The fuck you want to do? Throw my blue, my blue wig on my high heels? Start keep y'all want to start Keisha? Start Keisha could come out real quick. What's up? Turn up real quick, bitch. Well, I wish you guys were all here. Like, I wish that's crazy. Can you guys still hear us? <sighs> can you can you call me back when the paramedics come? You want me to call you back? You stay on? Uh, up to you, babe. Up to you. If you wanna if you wanna take some time yeah, right now and, and call Okay, I'll call you back as soon as I see the paramedics going. Okay, but okay, you I'll answer you me, okay? Know. I will. I you will. answer me, okay? I'm here for you. Okay, I'm gonna call you guys mm -hmm. back. Okay, mama. Bye. I don't trust them, like... This is God's will, guys. Not my will. I'm not doing this, no. This is God's will.
they're sending someone for him. Like they're 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 talking to I don't know who he said they were talking to, but they're sending they're sending someone up for him. They're just they're trying to pick on who they're gonna send up. We I put on um um alcohol pads on him and they help. I'm letting their the paramedics are coming in. They're just waiting. They're just sending someone. They're waiting for someone to come up. Well, it's playing in due time. Godspeed. Here I am. I know they're sending a cop. I'm on live because nobody was listening. Nobody was listening that I got I didn't get a fair trial. You guys don't you guys don't know none of the story. You guys are just tuning in to tune, to tune in like to hear the story that's happening out in the AZ. Like you guys don't know don't know nothing. I'm on live so that way everyone can hear me. Nobody was listening. I've had six months, six months to think of this, six months. Yeah, Joey, they got a, and you still have faith in them? Like, you still trust them? Like, they need to give me pain. Like, they need to give me, no, no. Yes, and I will die, and I will go to heaven. Like that's no, that's no issue for me. I'm telling you, God's gonna open those doors when He's fed up. When He's fed up with listening to you guys, like. No, you're wrong. God didn't take my child. God didn't take my child away to protect me. My children were destined for greatness. We were destined for greatness. But evil took them away so they weren't destined for greatness. Don't ever, like you guys don't understand. You guys are just so, so small. So small in such an evil world and it's okay. I love you. Put everyone on the stand, Marianne. Everyone that said anything, like anyone that mentioned my name, like whoever, whatever, whoever accused me of the things that they said, they should be on trial. Like they should be, like, put them on the bench. 
put them on the hot seat. I was the only one on that hot seat. They're trying to figure out what they're doing. That's her. Yeah, see, I'm not letting them in. Melissa, can you call me? Melissa, if you're watching, can you please? I will pray for your red sock. I'm going to make him strip. Do you understand me? The paramedic comes in here only with the necessities he needs. He's going to have to strip. I don't care. If you guys don't want me to pull out my gun, that's fine. But he needs to strip. I have a really bad, like... What are they telling you? No, he can come up. They can come up, but no. They can come up, but no, I'm not coming down. No. But we do need medicine. We do need, we, but we do need medicine. Can they bring me, can my family bring me medicine? I can't hear you. I couldn't hear you. Do you know whose drone that is outside? Oh, booger, ew. <laughs> Why? You can't send the medicine up or you don't want to send the medicine up?
why are they doing that? Why aren't they making it easier for you? Why aren't they making it easier for you? If you guys are the one that's out here, if you guys, if we're the, if you guys are the one that's out here, why aren't they making it easier for you guys? Why aren't you asking them that? Like, she's not, I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm not harming anyone. So why aren't they listening to you guys? See what I'm saying? Like, why don't they, if you guys are out here, they should be doing whatever it is that you're asking them to do. You guys make the call. You guys are out here for a reason. So you guys need to make the call. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have to go and ask for permission. If, if you have to ask permission from someone, then they should be here too. Like you, you need to call the shots, not anyone else. Cause you're the one that's here. Okay. You said you worked at the hotel, right? Yes. Okay. Do you have a boss to answer to? Okay. Sometimes he gives me the discretion. However, okay. he gives well, me discretion to make decisions that I feel are right. And, and I do, and he's prob they're probably listening to me because they see that hotel through my job thrived because I was there. Like, well, they give me some discretion, and that's why we are working on it. And but I have other chains because the paramedics they don't work directly for me, so I have to. They have to go to their bosses. Trust me, if it was up to the paramedics, they would probably just go up there. But there's we have different chains of command we have to follow, and different groups we have to jump. So, so do it's I. Not that we don't want to. We have different layers we have to go through. But what about the medicine? Like, we can't just get medicine? Like, I, I do want you guys to check his temperature because my thermometer yeah, isn't we, working. We asked about the meds, but because it's medical, yeah. they can't give medicine without knowing what's wrong. So if they give you medicine... And who's the paramedic that's on site right now? Uh, I think he went back to uh, find out if he can... Oh. Because... But you have, let me see what you're wearing. But you have, but you have your full on. So if I. No, no. No, I have diabetes. No. 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 Nothing. Just Chill. vomiting, Chill. vomiting. Uh, right now, it seems he seems warm, but I don't have a thermometer. Like if you touch me, I'm pretty, like I'm I'm already like. Um, but he was vomiting. He was, he was just like Which cough place? is really dry. Which, which no, I gave the last thermometer I had to my mom because he was sick three weeks ago. Like he keeps getting sick. And so he was sick three weeks ago and his cough was really bad and I gave my mom the last inhaler I had. Huh? I think we've all I think we both do. Like I knew I knew my son, I knew I knew Belen, I knew Damon. Damon started sick first and I knew he I knew that he was sick. Like and so it it went on to Cain and then he got Well, you probably need to nebulizer. Can you guys just no, you, he's right now. He's sleeping. Like this is the first time he went through the night sleeping. Like he's. That's why I don't want to wake him up because he's not coughing. Like he's. He's good. Like he's just. But when I, he does cough, he does sound congested. Like it sounds like his mucus is like. It's right here. He sounds congested. So, my only concern is, if you think he has COVID, obviously it's a respiratory thing. If he's coughing a lot, has a fever, all that stuff. Typically, little ones and older than the elderly people, grandma. grandma I know. Really I know, but this is his fifth day. This is his fifth day, and he's getting better. Like, this is his fifth. He's not. The first four days, he was really, really bad. Like, that's when they should have taken him to the doctor. I don't know why they didn't, but the first four days, he was bad. Like, he had a fever, he had a cough, and they didn't take him. And then just today, just brought him with me. I don't have a thermometer.
It's like the round ones. I can't. Is that like small round ones or big round ones? I think it's the small one. Hold on. Diabetes. Diabetes? Like one or type two? Um, you know what? I'm not quite sure, but I, I'm not. I don't. I'm not quite sure. I, I'm pretty sure it's type one because I don't take insulin. Oh, so it's type two. You don't I don't take insulin. Yeah, I don't take any insulin. Oh, I just take. I just. Good. And I don't. I don't. I should say this. I don't take care of my um, sugar. Like they deemed me diabetic, but I don't. My chest just hurts, but my 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 chest just hurts, but I'm pretty sure it's the stress. Like, do you want me to try this? It's it it like it's it turned like it turned on. Do you want me to try it? Just keep going.
They want to come in, but I asked them to come in like strip, like you know they can strip, but they want to come in full force. Like they want to come in. But then, but he has to leave his firearm too, though. Like he, if you don't want any firearms near him. I don't want no firearms near me either, like, right next to me. And I know how to, I, I'm not supposed to use it. Okay. Like, so I, I will, I will, he behaves, I will behave, like. Okay. No. Then why didn't he get help four days ago? Why is it now? Because we're on, we're being watched. But this, he should have been. If his cough is like this now, if you guys is concerned about his cough is like this now, why wasn't he taken to the doctor four days ago? No, we weren't.
No, he wouldn't have. He's just like, mm, like, no, let me go. He's not wheezing. He's fine. Like he's he's fine. That sounds right. The thermometer, but I'll I'll get it. No, I feel better. I had, I've been drinking water. And I ate, uh, King's apple.
You guys still can't hear? Can you guys hear? Can you guys hear? Yeah, the cops made them leave. I didn't make them leave their house. <laughs> they could have stayed there. They could have been sleeping. Like, I'm really sorry you guys had to. Thank you, Maro. I did apologize to my neighbors though. I am very sorry. Like you guys didn't have to leave your house. No, I am fighting for my tra fair trial. Like I'm not I'm not leaving until I get my fair trial. That's all I'm asking for is a fair. I think you guys I think you guys forgot why I'm here. Like I'm I'm only here because I'm fighting I want my fair trial. Like don't forget that. Don't forget why we're here. I love them too. 
I did not have a fair trial. So over it. Go to sleep. See my son sleeping? I'm tired too. Michelle, they do need me. Like, they need me to do this for them. Like, this is me thinking of them like you don't know like how my children have changed like they're just so so angry so depressed like Belen can't sleep at night Belen doesn't sleep at night okay because she's just so depressed Damon my baby binge eats like Damon is so so depressed he just eats everything he finds like he just won't stop eating like my children is why I'm doing this like they're They're
Now they're at the door. I won't meet them halfway. I already met them halfway. We met them halfway already. They will have to take my life like you guys probably say this is for nothing but it isn't for nothing once they start realizing once they start once they start investigating the Why can't he just stay with me? Well, first off, you need to have both of you see the paramedics. That's one thing. If he's sick and you're sick and you both possibly have COVID, I can't allow that. Right, but you can't allow us to be quarantined? Like, we can be quarantined. If we're really sick, then we can stay here. No, I won't, Keen. I want them to release them to me now until I get my fair trial. I want, I don't want, no, like this, this wasn't, no. I get my fair trial. I don't care who's watching and all everyone's like, Consuelo, don't do this, Consuelo, no. Like, I'm doing this for my fair trial. True. That's all I want. Keen, the baby stays with me, but this doesn't end, no, it ends with my fair trial, but he stays with me. And if not, then you already know the other alternative. Like, there is no, like, there's no three options. There's only two. There's only two. I don't know, but he stays in my, he stays in my care, though, until I'm proven guilty. 
until they prove me guilty by a fair trial with the jury, with everyone I subpoena. Then I get my fair trial. You know, no, like. And he can be seen by a paramedic. He can be seen by a paramedic, but he's not leaving my side. And the paramedic is not coming in here with, with firearms. They can come in here with the equipment that they need, but they're not coming in here with firearms. What's the point? If I can't even have my firearm in my own house, why can they come in with their firearm? Well, you guys, that's that. Right? I don't know, cause the the first sheriff that I seen was ready to come in here. I mean, he he wasn't even ready to play. Like, so how do you expect me? Like, like he was already he already had his gun in his hand, like waiting for me, like that. Like, Cause he was he was laughing like this isn't funny like yes you want to go home but I want to stay home with my children like you don't do those kinds of things like you just I do have to be home. And it's okay though it's fine it's fine he's fine he's I know he's fine. Like, he doesn't have to worry about me. Like, I'm not the only one that's watching. The sheriff! He, he doesn't, what, what your guys' opinion, what everybody else is saying, that doesn't bother me. Like, like I'm, not the, I'm not the one you guys have to respond to. But I, hold on, give me one second. Can you guys hear me? I, I accepted Starks, but did he see me? Can you guys hear? Can you hear? I can't hear you. No. Hey. Hey. Can you hear? Can you hear? I can hear. I can't hear. I can't hear Starks. I can't hear you either. Call, call back. Yeah, I can hear Starkey either. So they're saying that you're they're they're gonna get you a trial on Monday. That's a lie. That's not gonna happen, though, Marianne. You know that. But what if we're all there protesting, like with you? Like you got a lot of people here listening to you, and if you don't think that they're gonna give you a trial. Why don't you say your side of the story here now so you, we can all hear your side before it's too late, too? How do I, how do I begin, though? Tell me how I begin. Like, Just start from the beginning. Know? Start from when that, that lady, like, accused you of doing something you weren't doing and how the manager, you know, she came in and she fucked, like, fucked you over and everything. Like, like put it from okay, so, the beginning. Okay, so let me, okay. There was an incident in the house with Jake, okay? Jacob and I were, mm -hmm. were and the lady downstairs, the lady downstairs already doesn't like us. Like whenever Jacob and the kids were up here playing or whenever the kids were running around, the kids would mm -hmm. up, bang on the door and tell us to cut it out. Like just shut up. You guys are so loud. So that day Jacob and I were, you know, having our argument. And the manager, the manager was already at the door. He was already at the door listening, like, oh, like and, I don't even think she right. was recording, no? I don't think that's legal. I don't even think she was just at the door listening. So when Jake was ready to open the door and he, like, he was right there. And they, of course, like, whatever she's seen and whatever Cynthia heard, like, they just, they just, the, the DPFS just mixed it up. Like, they literally just mixed it up. So we tried, we tried subpoenaing, so we tried getting somebody for everyone that said anything. 
the neighbors in the field, like the we try, mm -hmm. friends, we try telling everyone to go to court and the judge denied my right. Like the judge was like, no, nobody's coming to testify on your He's funny, come mm -hmm. to testify. That's exactly what. But let them know too that they question your kids. Like, yes, okay, so they questioned Belinda and Damon about the incident. They questioned both of my children. Both of my children both said nothing happened because nothing happened. Like, my children don't lie. Like, mm -hmm. My children, like, there's reports. Yes, there's reports of all of this. And the reports is what I'm willing to fight. Like, at the point, like, uh, the judge, uh, I'm like, I don't remember her name, but it's the judge. It's the, it's the judge that's been in court in Valley Courthouse for the longest. The Department 48, like, juveniles, like, <clears throat> like, but the judge denied my right. Like right now, they're, they're... you guys like they want to send the paramedic up, but I don't trust them. Like I know babe, that. Babe, 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 babe. I know you don't trust them, but you need to do this for the baby's sake. At this point, we all care about your controller, but we care about your baby's sake right too. So you need to let you need to let the baby in and get the treatment he needs. <laughs> I'm coming. So, I need you to go outside the door, just open the door with your hands up, and he'll talk to you from there, and he'll come up alone, and we'll stay here, and he'll... How do I know he doesn't have a firearm? <laughs> I mean, but let me take your legs, though. What are you... I don't think they're going to put the baby okay, in danger. I need to get him to strip in the first place. Like, I didn't even want him to come full cold. He had to come strip, but that's good enough. Like, No, I need to make sure that there's no one there. Can they uncover the people? Paramedics are going to come in. Okay, mama, let, let the paramedic go in there, at least. Don't do nothing stupid. Let the paramedic mm -hmm. drop. They're not going to hurt him, and they're not going to hurt you. Okay. They're not going to exactly. just... They're not gonna hurt you guys. Let them go in and do their job. I won't ever shoot you. I won't shoot you. Yes. <laughs> I'm really scared though, like okay. okay. So you're just gonna check him and you're just gonna go? That's it, baby, that's it. Let's Do I have your word? Yeah. Okay. I know you're scared, Mama. I know you're scared. But like you said, you got God with you. You let mm -hmm. them check the baby. We're, we're, me, me and your friend, we're right here with you. We're right here mm -hmm. with you. We're right here with you. We're not going nowhere. I'm not fucking working. I don't give a fuck. Let them fucking fire me. But uh, no, I'm here with you, baby. Let him in. Let him in and don't do nothing stupid. Let them check the baby. 
I know you're scared, Mama. I know you're scared. Pop the phone up, Consuelo, so we can Put see. Put the phone yeah. up so like that we can see. We can witness everything. Yeah. Hold on. I'm putting my fire on my pocket. Pocket. No, Consuelo, stop. Babe, you don't need that. Let, let them just do their job. We love you. We don't want to see anything happen to you right now. Consuelo, the phone fell down. Mm -hmm. Leave that gun away. Put that gun away, Consuelo. You do not need to have that on you. It's just a paramedic. He's just going to check the baby. Yeah, I'm open it. Okay. I need to hang up. Bitch, you need to get alive. Get the fuck up out of here. This is our friend we care about. <laughs> Don't ask each other, guys. I can't open the door. Open the door. I can't open it. Hold on. Sultan. Susu. <clears throat> Just keep trying to unlock it, Consuelo. That's your main focus right now. Just keep trying to unlock it. What you need to do is relax, keep calm. Keep calm and just relax and just fucking open the door. Period. Yeah, I don't know if I can say it. Period. <laughs> Come on, Mama. You got this. Open that door for him. Do you get a hammer there or something? Yeah, you need to try to get that door open so they can check the baby. Do you have like a hammer or something, Consuelo? To my. not what it is, babe. You got the door just got stuck. You need to fucking look, open it. Is it just the bottom one, Consolo? The door is not opening. I don't think I, I'm not meant to open that door, you guys. Like it's not for the life of me. It's not opening. Like it won't budge. Well, how? How did you do it, Consuelo? Why don't you just unhook it like all the way with the with the drill? Like how you Just got stuck. You got the lock stuck. You gotta unstuck it. You gotta get this shit open. They need to check the baby. You guys are stupid telling her to use a fucking gun. They're gonna fucking shoot her the, the moment she fucking shoots the lock, you fucking idiots. You guys are fucking retarded, I swear. Try to get that door open.
Let them know that the door's stuck. Ask them if they're willing to let the paramedic go up the ladder and through the balcony. So at least he could check the baby through the balcony and then he can leave again through the ladder. Do you do you have a drill in the kitchen? If you have a drill in the kitchen, just pull the fucking lock off. Just fucking drill mm-hmm. that shit off. Mm-hmm. Take the screws off the lock, take it off the door. Just put it just pull that shit off. Use the power during the kitchen. Use it. I think she pulled it out. She pulled it out? Yeah. It won't open. All right. Well, then offer them to let the offer them that you'll let the um, paramedic go up the ladder through the balcony, so like that he can check the baby in the room right there, and then he can leave through the ladder again. Is it just oh, the bottom? I'm supposed to open this door, Tharps, like this very end. I can't hear you. You went mute yes, again. Yes. Like, oh, there we go. Like, see, look, this is one. But this one is like, I can't, like. Do you use the, screw, use the drill to take the screws off? Just put it off the door? Then. No, like, Starks, the, the screws are in the door. Like, they're, they're in, I have to open the door to, like. Use okay, the bottom of the drill to pound it off. At this point, at this point, you're going to have to go back in the balcony. And tell the cops that you're willing to let the paramedic go up through the ladder to check the baby. Tell them that the door's locked. Then you can't fucking unlock it. Uh, Jacob, or, or use the bottom Jacob, of the Jacob, they want me to open the, the door. door and, and, and Jacob, like, the door isn't opening. And it's just because I know that I'm not supposed to let them in. Like, but the door really isn't opening. And, and if you can hear me, like... You I need know, to relax, I know babe. Like, you I need know. to relax. You need to relax. Breathe. Breathe and relax. Think. Try to calm down. Uh, I don't. I'm not, I don't think I was meant to open that door. It's. it's I mean, it's, I, I'm trying the best I can, but that, that it's not budging. It's not. It's not budging though. Like. I know, and I and the door. I'm telling you, I'm not the. Look, I'm doing my best to open that door. That door does not want to open it because it's not meant to open. How is it that? They, how is it that? Come on, you guys. Use you guys' space. Like, how is it that? I'm trying here. Like, I'm really, really like the other one is easy just to like, but that one does not want to open. Him. Like, it's not because yes, trust me. I that I did. Like, I'm like I'm I'm like really really trying to open this door so he can come up. So you know why? You know why I want you to come up so that way I can at least. Like it's you feel like um like it I it already feels real for me. But having you like check my son, it'll just like I'm trying to open that door. I'm trying I'm trying. It just it's I'm not meant to open that door. I don't think I was meant to open that door. Yes.
door. Like, okay, that door is meant to be okay. closed. Okay, is the door, 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 door going to be locked? will open the door when he's ready. Okay, if the door's going to be locked, tell them to send the paramedic through the ladder through the balcony because it's locked can you, you can't budge it open. They're asking if you guys can come in through the balcony. <laughs> like, if there's stairs that you guys can... The ladder. Tell them to use the ladder. They they have the ladder out. But... Can we... so Maybe they, they can, can, the they can get the door sorry, open I'm for sorry. you. I'm sorry, like... <laughs> The deadbolt is on, you guys. Like, that's God. Like, God does not want us to open the door. Okay. I love you. you. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. You'll stay in the balcony. Stay in the balcony with your hands oh, up so that I can see. My hands in here. My, my, my firearm's on me, but my hands are going to be up. You hear me? Yeah, I know. Like, I mean, the firearm's already on me. That's what I'm trying. Like, but I when when he comes up, I will stop, babe. You have to put that away. Like, don't do that. If I'll, I'll put it away. I'll put it away. If he climbs up the stairs, I'll put it away. Just so that way he can climb up the stairs in peace. And and jump over the balcony in peace. You, you gotta stay in the balcony. Tell them you'll stay in their vision. Okay. Okay. Yeah, there you go. I'm not putting my fire on away. I'm gonna keep it on me. Like, okay, but don't pull it out. That's an EMT. Don't pull it out on him. He's just gonna go check the baby. Sheriff, it's a sheriff. Oh, it's a sheriff going up? Sheriff, it's a sheriff. Okay, okay. That's fine. Just don't pull the gun out on him. Consuelo, you should yes. prop us up too, so you're prepared. Yeah, yeah put us put us on on something. To make sure it gets the full room view. Make sure we get the full room view, so like that we see everything that's going down. Marianne. Yeah. Stop, yeah. Stop She's telling them you have a gun on you. She's sleeping. She has a fever too. She really. Let me see that. Hmm? Yeah, but um, I think I don't know. She's not that bad though. Good. Mm -hmm. You niggas are stupid saying I don't care about her. Y'all sound dumb as shit. Fuck a little thirsty for clout looking ass nigga. Don't read the comments. Yeah, don't read the, the comments. <laughs> yeah, like the, the comments are evil. Like, like Starks, like don't listen to them. Like. They're evil, like, like so. One of the, there's a girl on here that I don't even know that if supposedly everyone knows, and she was making some really mean comments. Like, who are you? Go to sleep. <laughs> Pray for them. Oh just stay cool calm and collective you know let them do let, let them do their job does the sheriff know it. like medical stuff? majority majority or why of, are they sending uh, up a sheriff sheriff sheriffs and lapd they all have to go through their own little medical training you guys need so to they know medical the sheriff yeah you guys need to understand the sheriffs and lapd officers they're the first responders before even EMTs and firefighters get to the fucking to the scene. So they they need to be able to cover at least the basics. Mm. I have a lot of friends that are sheriffs. I have a lot of friends that are LAPD. Trust me, and they they have they they have to go through all this shit. And it's I think it's much more safer if they bring sheriff paramedic. Paramedic probably wouldn't see what happened first. Yeah. Please want me to go back outside.
I think it's either IG is blocking us from hearing her or it's her reception. Okay, there you Stark, go. Wait, Stark. They want yeah. me to open the door. <laughs> because that's the only way you're getting out. Your reception is bad. That's the only way that they're going to get. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. They want me to open the door because that's the only way that they're gonna get Kane out of here. If they come in through the if they come in through the balcony, they won't be able to come back down with Kane in the, in his arms. Do you understand what I'm saying? Exactly. That's why I'm telling they, you that you come up through the balcony. They they don't they don't want to come in through the balcony because they can't take Kane down. Like that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, but are they going to or no? No, they don't want me. They want me to keep opening the door. They want me to open the door. That's the only way that they're gonna get Kane out. Mm -hmm. Marianne, I'm not meant to open that door. Like God's not. It the seems light. like you're not meant to it. I mean, the back end works just fine. I can't hear you, Consolo. I can't hear anything. Yeah, me neither. Mm mm. I can't hear anything. Okay, I can hear you. No, you guys aren't understanding. Like, that wasn't the plan. Do that. How about how about you tell them to let? How about you let the sheriff come up so he sees that you're not lying that the door doesn't want to open. No, but they, they don't want to come up. They don't want to come up. Yeah, they 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 want me like they want me to put my firearm away and they want me to to open the doors like. But I told like the firearm. I'm not putting it away. But they, I know that he has a firearm in his pocket. There's no way if he knows that there's a firearm in this house. There's no way he's coming up here without one. Like, I'm not dumb. And they have training. Like they have. Yeah, of course. But they can come into the balcony, and, like they if they like he doesn't he doesn't even have a fever anymore. It was just it was just like the like his like he was agit like agitated. He couldn't go to sleep. He didn't have a his bottle. He still so, doesn't have. Consuelo, his why don't they talk to Belen and Damon to get to see if you like if if they don't believe you? Like, why don't they get it from your kids? I don't know. Like, I don't know what they're, I don't know what they're. Letting them know that you have the firearm on you. That door is only going to open that. That door is only going to open when, when. They could either go both ways. These people are stupid. They're not going to hurt you while you're on fucking live and on the fucking news right now. They're not going to fucking hurt you. They just want to fucking... Honestly, it's baby. better that she tells them that she has a firearm as well. So they don't come up there surprised and they be like, what the fuck? Well, I mean, yeah, regardless, shooting. regardless, they know she has a firearm. Regardless, that's why, yeah. Uh, hey, so, even if she was to put it away, they know what she has. Hey, um, I just sent your live to this attorney named Vincent Brown. He's what he he's known for his name is Vincent Davis. I mean Vincent Davis. Sorry, sorry. He's Where known for. I'm actually outside your apartment. They won't even let me down. We the right here, on uh, right here by the light, and they got it blocked up. They got it blocked off. I'm actually right here. But um, I just sent it to his page. <laughs> I'm waiting for him to get a hold to it. He's known for defeating CPS. That's his main thing. He defeats them. You know what I'm saying? He's won a lot of cases against them for kidnapping, all type of different situations and different cases. You know what I'm saying? We actually right here. Hey, what's up, baby? Told mm -hmm. you. Told you. I mean... No, I know. See, I, know. I understand. But, 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 but listen to me, Kiswaila. Listen, listen to me. Listen to me. Our glory is not 
our victory is not any of this. Our victories that our names are on that book, Maurice. Like, like what did I, I tell you guys? Like you. I know, and and, oh, and I totally I understand. We but we can't we can't make it worse than what it is, though, Kasway. We can't make it worse than what it is. It's only get better. It's only going to get better. You feel what I'm saying? It's only going to get better. But at the same time, the main thing right now is the baby help. That's the main thing. We got to get him looked at. That's the main thing. You feel what I'm saying? Once that happens, that then we can go to the next. That door is not opening. Like, they're going to have to come in through the balcony. But Maurice, I like I told Starks, they want me to open that door because that's the only way that they're going to get, get Kane out of here safely. <laughs> if they come in through the balcony, they can't leave with him. Like, they can't leave with him. That's the main reason why right. they want me to open the door. Like, the baby doesn't have his fever anymore. The baby's good. Like, he doesn't have, he's not, he hasn't woken up. Like, he doesn't have his fever anymore. But I, I think they're worried about his cough, Prince Olo. Yeah, they are. Like, his cough is really bad. I don't, like I don't like the fake news that they got broadcasting about you. And that is not you. It is not you. Know you. What I'm that is not you. I, I, I they know have you, you as a kidnapper. They got you they as a you some kidnapped. bad, evil person. And, and I, I know damn well that's not you. I know you know what I'm saying? You guys, my family is going to be the ones to help me. You guys. Like, you guys so we'll know be there on Monday morning. Consolo. Uh, 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 you got to send you me. I have to time. know all the information so I can be there. Like, you know <laughs> that I'm, I, I know firsthand what you're going through because they took my kids. And you know I know. You know I know how janky the system is. You know I know. But one thing I don't want to see you do is is go out like this. Like, I need you to stick around so we can fight this oh, together. Baby, baby, what was God's plan? What did I tell you? Regardless if I'm here or not, Keisha, you guys are all well off. Because like you guys said, I'm being heard. So whether this plays out two ways, but you guys will still end up good. Like, this this was not for nothing. Like... Consola, uh, 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 where, where uh, your kids got taken away from you, right? So where are they now? Before uh, they got into Belen and, Damon, Belen and Damon were with my mom. They were Belen, Damon, and Kim. and and you stated I, I, before that they're not taking care of your kids. No, like let me look at you guys. My mother does her best. She, they're probably watching and they're probably like, ah. But my mother is already sixty-five years old. Okay, she cannot. She did it so that way my children didn't go elsewhere because I don't have family. So my children were going to go into a foster care. My mother did it so that way the children didn't end up in foster care. But my mother's already 65 years old. Like she complains to me every day that she's tired. Every single day she tells me like she doesn't, she wished that she didn't take the kids. Like because that's three kids, an eight-year-old, a six-year-old, and a two-year-old for a 65-year-old. Like she's tired she doesn't stay alive so you could take care of them then yeah you know, your buddy yeah your buddy you your buddy you can play, look, your buddy can, your buddy said he he stayed woke he tried to get you so bad and he just went to sleep did he really oh my god he said he set up so much he said, Consuela, Consuela. And he kept talking about something. She got to get the video. She got to get the video. He just went to sleep. Right with like five minutes after you accepted. I was like, oh my God. No, yeah, let him sleep. Look at that baby. Did someone say you're reporting Maurice? Like, we are on here. Oh, you guys are crazy. Don't read the comments. Uh, these people you know what? If all you... I, I just wanted to say this for all you motherfuckers that got all these fucked up comments. It, it, when the shoe is on the other foot, when the shoe is on the other foot, then then you can have something to say. But I don't like all these rude, disrespectful, no no heart, no feelings, no having ass people. If you don't like, if you don't like the story, if you don't like what's going on, you don't have to be on here. Half of y'all don't, don't even know the truth. Y'all don't know the story. And y'all talking. Got, a lot of y'all take this as games and jokes until the shoe it's happens not. to you. This is not a game. They this really out here kidnapping people, kids. This showing Illegally. you how crooked the system Violating is. Violating our civil rights. 
And y'all all here rights. saying this stuff. Like, uh, this uh, is uh, rude. And for the higher power, which are these judges that's supposed to live by a certain law that doesn't do what they're supposed to do, and you tell someone that they can't represent themselves because they're not your type of intelligent, it's a total different, that's disrespect. If I had the money, to that's all it comes down to. It's all about financial. That's what they did to yes. me. It's all about because financial. Because I didn't have a lawyer to fight them, and they felt like, oh well, she was in the system herself, and um, we could we could get over on her. She doesn't know her rights. She doesn't know she has rights. Don't, don't she doesn't know that. The judge literally threw the book at me and was just like, "You don't have the knowledge to to do this. Like, you are not smart enough to do this. Like." How am I not like we're like we're illiterate? Who's yeah? Like if I'm illiterate, like I, the judge was literally like, no, I'm sorry, you have you you can't like you are not qualified to do this. But like that's crazy. Consuelo, so God put Maurice in his life to tell you that he has an attorney for you. Maurice, like no, hold on. Tell them how yeah. I met you. Like honestly, tell them how God put you guys in my life. It, I, it's funny because. I end up staying at the hotel where she worked at. You know what I'm saying? And we became good friends. And one mm -hmm. thing I know about Consuela, everything that they paint this picture of you on the news is all false news. You know what I'm saying? And I don't like it. I really don't like it. And they got you labeled as this big badass person, which is not you. I don't really know her, but I know her for a few months of me being her, and this is one of the sweetest pe persons I ever met. Her mom always does. She loves her kids. Her mom. She's always done for her kids. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it, I, I just don't, don't like, like it. the picture that they portray. You feel what I'm saying? I think, Consuelo, you need to. You, need to. you don't need to. I think you need I, to um, play this another way, Consuelo, because you need to stay alive for your kids. You got to fight this, Consuela. You got to fight. Yeah, exactly. But, you but at the end it. of the day, I feel hurt. The story needs to be heard. Yes. Because people, mothers like me and her, don't. people don't deserve to have their kids taken just because people feel like this is what they can do because they have the power to do this. She got her kids taken because, away because the lady that's downstairs didn't like them playing around. So she, she filed. Yes, she but, I understand. I was, we had our kids there. taken away. For a very petty oh, reason yeah. as well. Yeah. One time, one time, Marianne came over with uh, her sister and my children were here. Like, everyone was here. And we started doing cartwheels. Like, Marianne just started, like, Belen wanted to know how the cartwheels, like, we, so we just started, like, playing and dancing. And she was literally, like, the downstairs, like, Cynthia was literally, like, banging, like, bop, 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 like, telling us. And did she up. say that me and you were fighting? I think so. Yeah, she said that we were fighting. But we were just playing, like. Like she made it seem like me and Marianne were fighting, but we were just, we were all literally just playing. Like the moment mm -hmm. when I got jumped, when I got jumped by Yahira and her three little friends, when I got jumped, Cynthia, the lady that was downstairs smoking a blunt and just listening to them, like literally just give it to me, like kicking me, like for a minute straight. Even when, even when Yahira and the girls ran downstairs, like Cynthia did not call, not once the sheriffs, like. You better mm -hmm. keep name dropping, Consuelo, because if Girl, you keep your mouth shut. Started, like, but, oh, but when I got jumped, but, that was crazy. Like, Cynthia was listening, and not one word. They want me to go back outside. Well, so, it, it can we, listen to them, Consuelo. I just, I, 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 I like, I like what you're doing. I like what you, and I really, and I, I and I. I put. I want to push this even more. Free, you know what I'm saying? Free, I really free, like what you're free. doing, but Keep at the same time, in order to 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 really defeat these people, you're gonna have to be here this way. Mm -hmm. It's just and like no it's just like it's just like a legacy. It's just like a legacy. Once once a person is gone, they push things under the rug. Oh yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? Now. Who's gonna push your story for you if you're not here? What did they do to you see what I'm saying? What did they do to everyone that tried to change, to try to make a change for their rights? What did they do to them? They killed them. It's, I've already meant for it, like. But it's better ways, Kiswale. It's better ways. 
I couldn't open the door. God does not want me to open that door, Ken. I'm not screaming. I'm trying to, I'm yelling at Maurice, but God does not want me to open that door. Like, if. You're allowing him up the stairs. I mean, up the balcony. Hey, 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 tell them. Ask them, can I come down there? They won't let you guys. If they don't even let Jake come down here, they will not let any of you guys come down. I asked you guys. I told you guys. Come down here before it gets worse, before they tell you guys to move. Because you guys could have all been in that <laughs> dirt thing. You guys could have all been there. Oh, I'm you guys so sorry. Been there. I got Hello. caught up we today. So busy. I'm so sorry. Uh, Keisha mom had me doing I shit. Can't, I can't open Man. Okay. They're trying to get me to. They're trying to get me to try to get you guys to in. Like they need you guys to check the baby. Like we're trying to. Tell them to hold their horses. Tell them to calm down. They said to calm. Like, hold the horses. Said to hold Tell the them horses. to calm down. Yes, we are helping. Yes, her. we are. We're trying to yes, tell her to let y'all in. You guys got to relax. Shit, if y'all let us through, we down here down the street. We trying to tell her to let y'all in. Start again with the hammer. Well, hmm. I open the door with the hammer. Yeah, let me try. Why is so many of them here for her? Like, why is so many of them for her? And why are all of these streets blocked off? Where is it? Is Jacob around? Where is Jacob? I think the cops got him. That's why. Because I want to I wanna show him. I want to show him something. That way he can be able to pursue pursue it. Yeah, you know I'm saying I want to be able to get him to at least somebody to get this information. You know what I'm saying? I want somebody to get this lawyer information. This guy is really, really good. And I don't think it's no case he haven't lost against CPS. You know what I'm saying? Which I, I, I think, yeah, I think she should she should take it up with him. With the I team. mean this guy his name is Vincent W. Vincent W. Davis. He is a lawyer. He has a law firm out of Los Angeles, and he is highly known for winning cases, suing CPS. And, and the judges know who the hell he is too. They know oh, who he is. Yeah, you mm -hmm. I think she should negotiate where her son is going to go until yeah. this trial. Yes, that's. What, they need to be around someone she can trust. Mm -hmm. Why don't they just go with her mom? That's where they were anyway, right? But she's saying that her mom is too tired to take care of him. Well, yeah, I understand that too. I understand that. Well, what about Jacob? They can't. They, they took him from Jacob too? Yeah, they took him from both the parents because the lady downstairs said that they were um, neglecting the children, I believe, and abusing each other. And all. They, they made like a whole... Story about it. That is some. Oh that is some BS. That's every some time BS. I see all, every time I see <laughs> all four of her kids, every time she comes to work, me. they don't look abused. They be eating. They're happy. They're happy. They, they can't. They mom. They can't wait to see her when she comes off of work and hops in that van with them. They hug her. They kiss. Like I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand what is neglect. What is? I, excuse my French. I'm far from racist, but white people neglect. And our neglect is a total difference. I don't understand what neglect is because you mean to tell me a kid that loved their, their mother, their, their father, you know what I'm saying, is neglect? I don't understand. Mm -hmm. He's away. I just feel the CPS are kid they're kidnapping people, kids, and they're getting away with it. And it's only financial. It's only financial. You're targeting people that are, are financially doesn't have the money to fight you motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. But this lawyer I'm, I'm talking about, yeah, 
They gonna know who he is when he walks through the court. Did you? He has a podcast. You guys should look him up. He has a podcast. He has a YouTube, uh, a YouTube channel. So he, I mean, uh, he's on Instagram. He's on Facebook. His name is Vincent W. Davis. Mm -hmm. Very popular. Popular attorney. Very, very popular. But his specializes in um, juvenile dependency cases and, and CPS, like fighting against CPS. I flooded his page with your story so I don't know maybe if he come in the first thing in the morning he look at it go over it, I'm gonna call, to it. I, and I'm going to call myself okay. because I know your name and I'm going to call and tell him your story I'm going to tell him to look at he your knows her. Um, yes because he was going to um, I just don't have the money right now, but he wanted five thousand to represent me, two thousand dollars as a retainer to put down to start. And he's going to win. He'll work with you. He'll work with you. He's going to win. Trust me, he is. He's going to win. So, Consuelo, why don't uh, why don't you think about where you're gonna put your kids? Hey, that's only temporary. Who is that? It's that's only temporary. Great. That's Jacob. Oh, that's Jake? What's up, Jake? Oh, okay. I need you to write down this information for me, man. What's this up, is, my brother? I got, it. I, got, I, I got his name. Vincent M.W. Davis. Vincent W. Vin Davis. W. Yes. Davis, yes. This guy is good, man. When I say he, he, his goal <laughs> is to defeat CPS, I don't even think he lost against them. I think he won every case he done went to their ass against. He done got people lawsuits for them being kidnapped. Caught for kidnapping cases because that's all they're doing is kidnapping people, kids. But they targeting Straight people up. that are financially that doesn't have the finance. They're targeting those people. You feel what I'm saying? I, they feel if you stay, they uh, they they feel like if you stay in a low income area, they more receptive to take your kids. You know what I'm saying? They're more receptive to take it. But this guy is good. When I say he's good, he's good. And I know he'll beat their ass. You know what I'm saying? I know, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that. You know what I'm saying? But what I want Consuela to do is walk out of this house, let them do what they're going to do, you know what I'm saying, so we can continue to fight this. It's not going to be good if she's not here to fight. You feel what I'm saying? It's not going to be yeah. good. Yeah. Consuelo. You know what she I'm saying? Who's there? That's that's the only that's the only way that we'll be able to get this taken care of. Because yeah. all we have, she's not here. All we have is alive. You feel what I'm saying? All we have is alive to present with her voice. But it's better when she can go in front of this judge, the same person that told her that she wasn't good enough to fight and represent for her family. You feel what I'm saying? No. Maybe in your eyes she's not. But if with her knowledge and Vincent's knowledge, oh yeah. What could you say then? Because he's gonna chew them out in court. He trust me, he finds all the flaws in what they got going on. You know what I'm saying? And majority of their cases are kidnapped. Majority yes, of them are kidnapped. You know what I'm saying? They they say people they say people are, are neglecting their kids, but I don't understand the neglect because it was a child that CPS checked on on a consistent basis that was being mistreated and never removed him from a house. We're talking about young Gabriel. Rest in peace. Yeah, rest in peace. I know. I know. I know his family. Rest in peace. You know what I mean? So y'all didn't make no efforts then. So now why are you trying to pursue someone that, who's... Whose kids are not abused. They love their mom and their dad. You feel what I'm saying? And I know I'm from the hotel when Consuela come to work. You know what I'm saying? I stayed in that hotel for two months. You feel what I'm you saying? There for three and By and the fact, months. three and a half months. Take that back. And every time I seen those kids, they were happy. They were eating, no bruising, no nothing. So I don't understand what this neglect is. No, what it is is kidnapping. That's what you guys doing. If that's what you're going to do, Go ahead. Go ahead. Because the old goal, give them to them. Because once you got somebody that can fight for you, that knows they loopholes, 
They got to give them back. And some. You feel what I'm saying? And some. But the road that we're going now, it can't go that way because then they're going to say she's mental. You see what I'm saying? They try to find any type of loophole to justify what they're doing. You feel what I'm saying? No, she's not mental. She's intelligent. Because now they're going to take the kidnapping and say, oh, well, she's not mentally fit because of this situation right now. You see what I'm saying? I guarantee so, you she got a she got a higher college degree than most of these officers sitting out here, bro. They want, I know they want, it. I know it. Wait, She's very intelligent. In, and I asked, they want me to they want me to put the firearm. The firearm's in the bathroom. Like I put it when I was trying to open the door, I put the firearm in the bathroom. Um, they want me to take off my sweater. Like they want me to strip because they don't trust me. Like and I don't trust myself either. But I've asked them. I asked them. <laughs> the paramedic has to strip too. Like if you want me to take off my sweater, he needs to strip too. Like. He needs it, has to be fair grounds because how do I know? Yeah, because you gotta know that you're safe too. Yeah, like I want yeah. to know, like, and I'm he, they want you guys want me to keep my hands up, fine, but he needs to come strip too. Like, I don't trust it. Dude, how, like, I'm gonna tell well, you right like, now, that's not, a, that's not a fair meet. They want to negotiate, they can't have no weapons either. Simple as that. Like, wow. It's called idea. negotiation. You're willing to do what they want you to do, but they have to be willing to do to make you feel safe as well. It's reasonable to come in there like with no weapon. They can do that. If you're saying, if you're so worried about my firearm, it's because you're already coming yeah, with a certain intent. She's already talking. If, she you know, if I talk to so I need to talk to her. Worried about my firearm when I'm telling, I'm giving you my. Yeah, this man. This man here. He's no pretty good, man. But you're He's really, really good. Because you already coming in with a certain intent. Your intent <laughs> is to check on Kane, yes, but to leave with Kane as well. Then what's the problem? We're meeting halfway. I will take off my sweater if he takes off his. No, he's cold. I will. Man, we all cold out here. So <laughs> cut that shit <laughs> off. Yeah. These motherfuckers out here having coffee and donuts and shit. Not me. <laughs> Not me. Out here having coffee and donuts and shit, acting like shit cool, man. Cold. Yeah, they they know, but they know they know they system fucked up too. Some of them know. Some of those officers out there know this a fucked up system. And they- now in your life, t- this right yes. here is our greatness. And you're right. But I, it is. But, but I need you. I need you to. I need you to live out the story, though. I don't need you to go. Yeah, you gotta live the story. Out. I don't need you to go out in a blaze of no, glory. No, I need you to no. live out the story. No, okay. no, because see, yes, we are your story, but your story is not going to be successful without you. Okay, so guys, what are they doing about the baby? What are they doing about the baby? Are they going to come up? <sighs> Who's gonna open the door? Who's gonna unlock the door? <laughs> the door, by the way, the door is locked from the top and the bottom. So, Jacob, you still have the bottom lock, but we just recently changed the top one because someone was trying to break in. Um, so the top lock, it's locked. It locks from the inside. So I, either way, I can't get out. I mean, Aldo kind of, Aldo kind of fled the the scene with my key. What a square. <laughs> She was on the uh, one way lost. Uh, Only real ones in here. Yeah, and the lady downstairs, if she on this live looking, this is all your fault. All this she is your fault. And, she was on the live and, talking shit still. Yeah, and, 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 for, and for the record, for her ass, Rich, because I'm a real motherfucker. I'm going to say, um, excuse my French, I believe in God, but I curse a lot, too. Hey, I believe she need her ass whooped because you caused all of this. How could you go and to I sleep mean, cause all this, this problem? I think her husband no, was looking at little girls. So. I mean, that's and, and it's crazy. The it's crazy that CPS didn't do their own investigation. 
Yeah. And you took somebody else's word and didn't do your own investigation. You feel what I'm saying? Which is is so is so messed up, and it's so it's so messed up that they don't do their own investigation. The lady downstairs well, the did her ass is, work. Is that they talked to the kids, and the kids themselves said that nothing happened. So I'm but see, in their eyes, in their eyes, they ask the kids, but they're gonna say the kids is not in that a certain. Um, yeah. What's the words? Um, they're gonna say they try to say they're not old enough. They're not old enough. To, so to make like know. certain decisions, that's and what they they're gonna try to do. They use it with us. Then why? Then why ask them questions if they're not exactly. old enough to why answer? They question them? But they'll because use. But they'll use that. They'll use those kids' yeah, words against us in court. Because they want the negative. Because they try to use. They, 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 they want to paint their own narratives. Yes. 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 And their and their goal is to make to incriminate you and they also love they love 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 to fabricate stories and to twist your words. You they know trust me, the judge, they love the, that. Hey, they love the judge what told me the judge told me straight up I was guilty until proven innocent. That's what she told me. And you should have told her she watched too many cops episodes. <laughs> I told her she's living in the fantasy. I don't know. That's, that ain't the real world. I, I I can't wait to Vincent get hold to this case. I can't wait to, cause Vincent's gonna tell you. What's Vincent's gonna tell you. Cause it made a big issue. It's a big Trust issue. Me, now. Look, look, they're punishing. I can't hear anything. <laughs> they're punishing her. They're punishing her. But in court, I took the blame for everything, and I only <laughs> took the blame for if she got off. With everything, yeah, and I didn't. And I took the blame. I took the blame for her to get off, and they did it. They doubled. They doubled down on her. Like, what the fuck? The only reason I fucking even, even took my took the the whole blame is because you guys are gonna let her off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it, it's just we live in a racist America. Tell me, what blame? What did we do? Why did you even? What did no, we nothing. Do? Just, just, just arguing. Right? I said I'll take the arguing. I'll take the arguing if I was, you know. We live on an in Antelope Valley. This they they racist as fuck out then, here, bro. If yeah. all of you guys oh, are God. Out, pray. Take the time right now to just <laughs> just take a second and pray. Like that's all I'm asking you guys to do. If you guys are on live right now, all of you guys that are watching, pray. Like close your eyes and say uh, thank you. They say they can stay for everybody's praying for Take more. Take more. Oh yeah, for somebody, somebody wrote in the comments. I, cause I, I, I look at the comments, but somebody said, "Remove me." No, remove yourself. Remove yourself. It's crazy. I probably see half of y'all motherfuckers every day. Yeah, like, remove I yourself. Bet, I bet none of y'all. I bet none of y'all won't come say that to me though. Yeah, remove yourself. I bet y'all won't. Because, because I'm the right one. Hey, this, hey, this our generation. Hey, the old heads, all that slavery and racist shit ain't no more of that shit, bro. And, and, oh, God. And, and, and whoever said that, whoever said that probably was one of those people that, that make false allegations. Probably one of those people that make <laughs> false allegations about people to get their kids taken away from them. It is. You probably was one of those people that made that comment. They probably foster, So let me check you. They probably foster parents on here right now talking about, yeah, just take her kids, send yeah. her over this way so I can get another check. Yeah, and, and yeah. A half of you foster don't, parents hey, ain't even taking care no, of the no, kids. No, no, so. don't, don't even say that because that ain't cool because I'm a foster parent. I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? I know not all of you. I said some of you. Some of you. <laughs> some of you. <laughs> yeah. I've been a foster parent yeah. for 16 well, years. <laughs> and, and, and no, no offense, sir. I'm only saying that because I was a ward of the court, and I was, the, I was a, I was a baby that was in the system, and I had foster parents that whooped my ass and covered it up like ain't nothing happened oh, yeah. with a pretty ass house, and we had nice clothes. Our clothes came from the J C Penney catalog. We had a nice house. We had night everything, and they beat my ass. But every time social workers came, they made that shit look real pretty, like nothing was going on. There's bad people in every industry. Yeah, there is. It's like produce. Bad every bag of apples have a. Every bag of apples has something rotten in it. Yeah, everything has it? something rotten. Bear the fruit. He threw I can hear you he from the porch. It's bad. This is happening. 
to good people. Like, I legitly understand the system being there for people that really need it for kids who are abused and neglected, but there's people getting caught up in this that don't, that don't deserve this. Simple as that. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. <laughs> It'll kick us out. <laughs> what the hell? Bro, I don't want any of this to go down <laughs> negatively. Like, I'm not on here. It's all you know, I don't want her to do anything that jeopardizes her life. Hey, no, I do hey, not. I'm not doing anything that God <laughs> doesn't want me to do. You remember that, Keisha? I told you. I, girl, I told you. You know I, I believe. God's you know God. I have faith. We you know I believe. For greatness. And I believe hey, it, honey. Susan, come here. We are destined what? for greatness. Hey, they won't even let me walk to the corner. Every time I get close to the corner, they pull up on me. Yeah. I'm so I can't yeah, see it right for the apartment. Yeah, I'm right here. We're right here at the sign with the signs where it say roll close right here. Oh, sitting oh, at I the light. Let me, let me turn the phone, phone around. Y'all see where we at? Look. After where I was when they yelled at me earlier, I was right out her she window. Was at, where you oh, are? She was, yeah, they, he was he was um he was in the desert where I wanted all of you and I told you guys stay there. I was there. The light. You didn't you didn't see them come get me? Oh no, early. Yeah, early yeah I saw you when well, you had your hands up, huh? Did yeah, you put, I put my your hands, hands up? Those, those, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I saw just, you. I was like, he putting it, I said he's smart, he putting his hands up. We ain't taking no chances they, with that. Hey, they're not gonna get me on. Hey, he moved too quick. Nah, fuck that. You ain't gonna get me exactly. on there. Exactly. Yeah. They'll yeah. use anything they watch. can. You gotta watch them, so, man. But but the whole goal is the whole goal is is for this to be a peaceful night. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Not a, not a yeah, crime. So, it's supposed to be a peaceful night. So the so, whole goal is we keep we keep pushing this message. We gotta keep pushing it. I'm here for we, you, baby. Kylo, black and brown, time, black and brown. Let's stand up together, black and brown. Always, always. But at the same time, they're gonna get impatient. They're, yes. they're going to get impatient. Yeah, for sure. Think of Maurice, Maurice, the cop, the first white cop that came in, he was ready. Like, I'm telling you, he was so annoyed. He even, like, he looked at me in the eye and he was just like, I want to go home. Like, when I'm like, you're ready to use that, hon, he was just like, I, I want to go home. Like, why are you here then? Like, it, they yeah. even sent him away. Yeah, like, these are not. Had to these away it's because, because these are like, people. I got a lot of should be like a public. Point. A public uh, service, no not more. a fucking job where you get paid nine to five. Because see, they don't even live up to their expectations. Their job is to serve, protect the people. And only some right of them do that. Only I think some that's some more problem. They doing eighteen hours a day. Yeah. You know what sleep deprived does to a human being? Oh, I know. You work more it's than so eight hours, good. you're already fucked. I know this so, isn't a question but, anybody wants to know, but seriously, what's it going to do? take to get you to come out to resolve this for the night yeah you got to say it again i there's only two ways that it's gonna go today it's gonna go with kane staying with me until i get my fair trial or the cops are gonna come in and that's it either they're gonna take one or i'm gonna get one like Someone is going to feel the separation I felt this past year. The loneliness but I how, felt, someone's family but, will feel it too. And not because but how can we do it because God wants it. Like, that's, but, like, but like, this is, those what? are the only okay. two ways. Now, I now listen to me, Consuela. Now listen to me, Consuela. In order for us to get them for kidnapping, they have to have a kid. We can't get them for kidnapping if they're in your custody. But they already kidnapped them. You see what I'm saying? We can't get them for that. They if you already have, have them. Because they're still in her possession. But they already took them. Well, and she they got still, them. They still have Belinda yeah. Damon. They still have Okay, yeah. that's one. Get them out them. Because now they got they have they have they got two counts already. Right, 30 30, 30 in the morning. You know that. You know that. I've been up since. You know exactly, you know exactly what will happen to me if I do. I'm not like I, I will never do that. But we, we got the, we got the right We have to. We can't. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna get impatient. And the last thing I want to do is, is, is 
not be able to have this conversation with you face to face. You see what I'm saying? We have to end it. We have to end it. We have to. You feel what I'm saying? We can't make it no worse. It's only can get better. It ain't worse. It's worse, babe. You know what I'm saying? It only can get better. But in order for it to get better, we have to stop it and start. The message is there. Trust me. The message is there. Is it really? If the message is if the message was there, Maurice, this would all be over. I would be hey, sleeping. Hey, right? Yes. See you can, I tell you, can you can I tell you what my other job is? Yes. I'm a minister. Are you? Yes, ma'am. That's not a job, though, Matt. That's a blessing. Yes, it is. That's a privilege. That's a it's privilege. a calling. It's actually yes. a calling. It's a calling if we want to get privilege. technical. There's a lot of things that are a calling in this life. And check it out. I'll tell you right now. I'm down to. I'm straight down to earth. Okay. I've been on the streets. I've done everything you could think of on the streets. I wasn't always a nice guy. But this ain't what he wants for you. This ain't what he wants for your baby, honey. Believe me. No. No. It's not. You know what he minister, wants? Minister, you know what he wants? Do you know? Do you know who Anna is? Honestly, any of us know what God told you know, her? Like, no. Okay. Know we don't know. Like, women prophets out there, like. We don't know the you, conversation you that she had with God and, and and what messages he God gave her. Like I, I honestly can't sit here and say that because all throughout the, all through history and all all throughout the Bible, <laughs> there was martyrs. There were people that God told they needed to stand up. They need to make a statement. They need to do this. They need to do that. We don't know what messages and what downloads she received from the Most High. Well, Who are we to sit well, and say? Anything. Hold, hold on. We, uh, hold I, on I, a I second. But there, there is something in regards to that one, though, because, um, in a way, pushing it and pushing it would be like suicide, and we all know what it says about suicide. Mm -hmm. suicide. And you cannot tell me that's something I'm that not, God would I'm want. Not taking my life, though. Oh. But she's not taking her own life. She's not, not putting. She's not life. putting a gun to her head or, or anything to. But she's not hurting her kid. And my liberty, like I will not take my life. I'm not the one that's gonna pull the trigger, Matt. I'm not taking but, my life. But what this, you gotta remember see, this is, is all about right. right. No, this is I'm, all about well, right. I'm going. I, I'm speaking in regards to some of the statements that you made. Not okay. Not that you're gonna take your own. But, you know, the one statement that I, I know I heard you say that the first one that came through the door was going to take one yeah. to the head. Yeah. And but then what's then what's going to come out of that? You know, yeah. I mean, not encouraging. I'm not encouraging. Yeah. Any and, 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 and I feel where, I feel where Minister Matt coming from. Because it's some trigger happy officer standing out here that's ready to pull a trigger. He's ready. He's ready to Every, pull a trigger. He don't he don't care about if you win a case or lose this case. He don't give two shits because he's gonna get paid regardless. You know what I'm saying? But, but he's sitting out there trigger happy, ready to pull a trigger. You feel what I'm saying? But it's not gonna do nothing but bring hurt and harm to the kids. But at the end of the and night, everybody here. Everybody wants to go home. I'm home. You know, to the kids or to their wives. Right. Or, let, me, let me back to that. But that's basic human right, right? Everybody wants to go home to their children. Exactly. And what makes what makes, that black, what makes that sheriff's right more you important than I am? You got the it, options to go because, home. Look, I'm walking around with nothing. That's he walking right. around with a vest and a gun. Yeah. But people have that's the for options every, to go home. That's for everybody. And, yes. And it's like, home and kiss their babies but, but at the end of the night take ours. when they leave from this when they leave from the front of this complex at the end of the night they're not going to think about consuela and what consuela is nope. going through they're going to go oh, home and go true. to sleep they're going to hug and kiss their kids and talk about what consuela did today and they're going to 
think about what Consuela's going through. They're not going to think about what she's going through. They're only going to think about what's going on. You feel what I'm saying? Which I, I, I want it to be over. I really do. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I don't know what guy told Consuela. I don't know. I can't sit here and say, hey, come on, walk out the front door. You feel but what I, I'm saying? Because Swayla has her own mind. I love for her I to do that. I would love for her to do that. All anybody can saying? do right now is pray. All we can do is pray and, walk, and, and wish for the best. Yeah, you're correct. Then the hey, the Jesus, Jesus go get the grain. And and I hope that I just pray that because we can sit out here until fucking eight o'clock in the morning and tell her to come outside. But if God told work. her something different, you know what I'm saying. If God <laughs> told her something different, then what? But as yeah. a friend, I'm gonna be here to the end. As a friend, I'm gonna be here to the end. So if Kiswela want to stay in the house to seven o'clock in the morning, guess what? Maurice is going to still be parked here to seven in the morning. Well, that's that's would, right, OG. I appreciate. It. I would you know, love to stay here did. till seven in the morning, but I can't. I got to be to work at six a.m. and work till two a.m. tomorrow. Oh yeah. Well, you appreciate the fact that you are here now. Yeah. The fact that you are I've here been now. Here all and, night. And, 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 you know, and that's the blessing, and that's exactly. what she needs. Exactly. That's what she needs right now. People need to unite. I, I don't understand it. It's so all much about united. Division. Being, being, being united. It's so much division in America. Us, I don't know if you guys heard her say this earlier. She needs a village of support. Exactly like she said. She's telling she's telling everybody what she needs, but nobody listening to what she needs. She needs the support, but she ain't going to get it by being gone. But this is documented over the last, I know. probably the last four or five years, her asking for support yeah, and know, help. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah. That's about how long time's yep. been going on. Yep. Yep. And Same. and now everybody not everybody wanna take, oh, okay, well, maybe we should do no. She asked before this even got to this. I wish she would have got a hold of me before this. We should have. If I would have yeah. known you guys was out here like that, I would have fucking Dude, made a call. Like See, that's the whole thing. I'm not afraid of You know, I'm not afraid of anybody. I've been down to the gray bar more than my share. Yeah. Well, shit, you telling me. But there's a lot of people out here who just see the police and they get, you know, frightened or scared or whatever, like, or intimidated and they don't want no part in it or they don't want to say their part because they don't want to be involved. But, it's, like, you can see it already. Like, the lady downstairs, like, there's paperwork on her making false statements of fucking um, DCFS papers on on other people that she knew. Like so, yeah. she has a fucking she she has oh, a his, she has a she she has a history of calling DCFS, of uh, calling CPS on people and making false allegations, false reports. Yep. Report. And that's not cool. there's a lot of Andre people in this world that do that. It's sick because you got them in your own bloodline, in your own family. If you fall out with somebody, they think the way to hurt you is by picking up that phone and calling CPS. They well, try to hurt you. There's a lot of horrible people out. I mean, look at the couple from Cal City. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know that one. No. No. Nah, were they white? They're missing top. Nope. Black. And we guess what? The foster parent, one of them was black, the other one was Hispanic. They've been missing since December 21st, 2020. They won't release any recent pictures. The uncle is one of the vice presidents for NAACP. He works for the Clinton Foundation, and he works for CNN. And they've been squashing it from the mainstream media. I've been covering it. CNN's already in their own shit. They're already getting blasted, because they ain't yeah, but you know who, false news, baby. Yeah, but you know who owns part of it? The Clinton Foundation. Yeah. It's all the, it's all the same. It's not... I can't tell anybody. Racism equals ignorance. Ignorance equals racism. Exactly. Grandbabies. I'm not sitting out here saying every cop right here is racist, but every no. cop has an agenda and he has a quota and he 
once you put on that uniform, just like us, right? We put on that uniform, that different type. They put on that uniform. They're going to die by that and live by that. They're going to die behind that blue wall. You know what I mean? It's an oath that they take to become a cop. You got to take an oath. You got to take an oath. You feel what I'm saying? They got to stand by they they got to stand by their fellow brothers just like the military. The military yep. has to take an oath. You have to stand by your brothers. If you was Marine Corps, simple fly. Yep. That means yep. that, that means the same thing as being honored by your brother. So if your brother do wrong, you still have to back your brother. In exactly. so many words. Now there's some good cops out there. It's a good cop out there right now probably wishing that nothing bad happens. But he cannot come out of his mouth and say, hey, man, we should we should just go. We should just let it be. We should just do what she's asking right now. It's a cop out there that feels like that. But he's not going to go to his sergeant and say, hey, man, I don't. I think we're making a mistake right now. You go against the quota, you the black sheep. You gonna get kicked the fuck out sooner or later. You know, so it's 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 like, and it America is just America is, is messed up. No, Our politics America, are messed up. America is the most beautiful country. Like we live, we live. It's supposed to be beautiful country. Like look at look at the men that are outside my house. Like. Die is a die. Those are soldiers. Like this is a beautiful country. Like if there was in any other country, like like he said, if it was the sheriffs, the sheriffs would have broken down the door. But every race in law enforcement. There, this is a beautiful country, though, Maurice. Like, like. Oh damn! I hate you. It could. It could be. I'm Hispanic, white, Indian. (laughs) My wife. My wife is um. I'm it's not gonna say Indian the country is is messed up. It's 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 the people. Yes. It's the people. It's not the country, the actual land itself. It, it's it's not this, it's not the world, it's the people in it. The people Basically, in it. Basically we're losing not, we're, not everybody's bad either, right? We're losing sight of humanity though. A lot of people are losing sight of just being a neighbor, just standing your hand out, you know what I mean? Just extending your hand, just being a neighborly First of all, what, 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 are we going back to the Bible? What God say? Love thy neighbor. He's trying to tell, you know, we're all supposed to be a community without without the structure. Without the police, yeah. we're still supposed to be together. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what we lack. So what that's what we lacking of. Because look, because look, right here, about, this, um, this, this shit could have been dead what? right now if every neighbor just told yeah, the truth. They asked, they asked me to change. They asked me to change? Yeah, and you did that, so so what do they want to do? Are they going to come up, or what are, Can you put what a shirt they... on? <laughs> Mr. Hernandez? Can you put a shirt on? Is they going to come up and check on the baby? Oh, they probably will. I mean, they kept asking. Now you got the opportunity to come up. Now you don't want to come up. So they're going to. That's the lies oh, right there. No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about talking about them wanting to come and check the baby. You know, y'all say y'all want to come up. Then when she get the door open for you to come up, you don't want to come up. See, this is the, this is why all this is going on now because of the lie. No, they asked to change the clothes. No, nah, I'm talking about earlier. Uh, yeah. Those are three major summits. But I just wish it was over. Yeah. I got to go home and see my wife and my grandkids. Yeah, this, this, this guy's leaving alive right now. I have to. I got to be up in a Consuelo. couple hours to go to work. Yeah, you got to get you some rest, Matt. Get, you got to get you some rest. I went to bed at 2.30 last night, got up at 6. I've been out all day. I got to go to work at 6 a.m. tomorrow. I work night crew. I work night crew. I'm supposed to be at work right now. You're going to have to get you a case of boxes on, Matt. My boy lives right across the street. That house right in front of the big side. Oh, you the security owner? Medical, don't worry. 
Sure, gold. What? Y'all don't let me in, man. Huh? Y'all don't let me in sometimes. What? Oh. Consuelo. Consuelo. Huh? This uh, he has to. Man has to leave. My mom. I'm gonna call you off, my mom. Hello. Consuelo. I just don't. Can you hear me? There she is. Consuelo. Mm. My mom did. Matt is going to leave. Matt is going to leave. I'm going to call you off my mom's Instagram. Okay. Okay? Hey, All right. lady. Okay? Bye, Matt. Hey, have a blessed one and God's got you. Thank you. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. And I only recognized them off your live. I, I was like, man, I, I seen you earlier. I was like, I appreciate you. Consuela, what are you going to do? What you going to do, Lissa? I'm going to just wait for them to open the door. Because their plan, their plan was not to give Cain medical care that they say they're doing like right now i went back upstairs and he was just like why don't you just come downstairs and just give yourself up like what happened to the medical care then like what happened to you trying to come up here right. and give us our medical care like, so their real focus like, so like their yeah, real focus is not even the baby the either, the door, like so they don't really they're really not trying to check him they're just trying to get you to come out of there because they know the baby's alive they know the baby's safe they know that they just want you to come out without them having to really, really have to do some work. Which them doing work meaning kicking in the door, sending SWAT in there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Ask them, like, I changed for them. Like, they asked me, they were like, can you change your um, your clothes for us? Because we don't feel comfortable, like, with your baggy clothes on. And so I changed for them and I put some. Oh, you're cutting out. They switched up the plan. They were like, um, well, can you just come down instead? Like, can you come down and, um, like, no, but what happened to the plan that you guys were going to come in? Like, well, your door is locked anyways. Like, you're trapped, so you really can't come yeah, down. Yeah, I'm good. Like, I'm not. <coughs> Consuelo, when Jake comes back on this live, I think you guys need to talk about where you guys are going to place the kids. I know it's not something that you have in your plan, but it's a plan that you need to talk about. Yep. Yep. I wrote my will already, Marianne. My will is already done. If I you knew, want, Consuelo, if they're, if they're not going to let go, you take Marianne. your kids. No. no, like my will is already <clears throat> made. Like I already had a plan. I don't even have my children's rights right now. So what makes you think that they're going to listen to my will? I think Consuelo just but this is I just my opinion. Marianne. Like I I already had a plan, Marianne. Like this this, this is already like Don't don't take don't take their life though, Consuelo. If they come through that door, do not pull a gun on them. The way you you are saying you're preaching God's word, you know, don't take don't take someone's life. I know. Yeah. But you should talk to Jake. This is not anyone's business and not anyone's, like, this is not anyone's opinion. No one can tell you what to do. You and Jake are the parents of those children, and you guys need to talk, talk it out on where you guys need to put these kids. Because if he's not going to take custody and if you're willing to go, where are you guys going to put these kids unless you're willing to give them up to, to them and they're going to win? I, if you want, Consuela, because you have a trial this Monday. So yeah, if you want, I can go in the apartment until perfect. Monday and take care of all that's three of your kids. No, there's only one, there's only two ways that this is going to go. 
And I know what you're talking about, Marianne. I already wrote my will. Like, I, I got my... I paid my 150 for my will. Like... And everything's in there. Like, everything that they did, everything that they did wrong, like... Everything is in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't want you going out there. You're way stronger than that. And your kids going to need you. They're going to need I'm going to just, I'm going to just get back to it because you guys keep like, I get it. You guys are tired. I get it that you guys wanted to stop. I get it. I get it. I came until I get what I came for. Like, Wait a second. The paramedics were supposed to come in, but they didn't. They weren't coming in to check on Kane. They were coming in to take Kane. The Kane is fine. The Kane doesn't have a fever. He's fine. I asked them to send up a thermometer and they said no. snoring his father snores he that's his snore that's how he sleeps
mismo le voy diciendo. He seems so hydrated. You turned the power off. You guys shut the power off? You guys shut the power off? They turned the power off. Well, I'm ready. If, you're, if you guys are ready, I'm ready. If you're really going to shut off this light, I'm ready too. I don't care, but I'm ready too. I'm ready to go. You already know the plan. You already know the plan. No. Yeah, you guys want. What about what I want? What about my rights? No, you did not. No, you did not. Because now you just shut off my light. Where's my life, liberty, and freedom? How am I going to make Kane his bottle when he wakes up? 